I'm sorry, I'm sorry for coming late. Perdonen que me agarró la tarde con el otro grupo que me estaban haciendo muchas preguntas. <ríe> I'm sorry, I am here. Hello, Carla. Ya decía yo que se había suspendido la clase. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's my fault, es mi culpa, I'm sorry. <ríe> es que me estaban haciendo muchas preguntas en el grupo anterior. Entonces, no podía desconectarme. <ríe> Pero aquí estamos ya, I'm sorry, excuse me. Now, hello, hey. Carla, eh, hello, Lilian, Carla, Nelly, Reina Eloisa, José Rolando, Eliseo, welcome everybody. It's a pleasure to see you again. Okay, now let's begin with the class. We're going to start with the platform. Vamos a comenzar trabajando con la plataforma, okay? Give me a second here. Let me check. Okay. That's more here, right? Okay. We are going to check the 1.4. We're going to start with, we'll start with 1.4. Okay. Okie dokie. Good. Now, before we start, I want to ask you something. Listen, please. Eh, antes de comenzar, quiero hacerles unas preguntas porque este, por eso me tardé en el grupo anterior, porque me estaban haciendo preguntas de la plataforma, porque algunos alumnos están trabajando en la plataforma, pero no les aparece marcado que han trabajado. Entonces, quería saber si a ustedes les aparecen estos chequecitos verdes en las actividades que están haciendo en la plataforma. A mí sí, teacher. Sí, les aparece. Sí, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, teacher. Vale. Yes. Yes. yes, vaya. La clave está en lo siguiente, miren, les le voy a, por algunos que, si no les aparece marcado, ¿verdad? Ustedes se meten a una actividad y para que les aparezca como marcado tienen que ver el video en unas actividades, ¿verdad? Aquí, por ejemplo, habríamos que ver el video. Pero si no... Aquí hay una, unas palabras azulitas abajo del 1.3. No sé si las alcanzan a ver. Quiere decir bookmark. Mar, marque esta página como chequeada. Dice. Entonces aquí le dan check. Y ya les aparece aquí arriba. Miren. Si ustedes han visto esta página. sí. O para que les aparezca el, este, que ya han visto la página. Váyanse hasta abajo. Y aquí le dan, en, en lugar de irse acá, ¿verdad? De ir navegando aquí arriba, porque yo a veces tengo la costumbre de irme aquí, porque es más rápido, más fácil. Pero ustedes lo que hagan es irse a Next. Le doy a la siguiente actividad. Y ya me aparece como chequeado, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Y uh, esta semana terminamos la sección 1. Entonces quería eh, pedirles de favor, ¿verdad? Que... A, a mí no me aparece nada aquí porque no he hecho nada, pero a ustedes aquí les tiene que ir apareciendo una barra roja. Aquí, ve. no sé si alcanzan el, el, el cursor. Yes, teacher. Y tienen que llegar hasta el 80% como mínimo. Obviamente ustedes van a llegar al 100%, obviamente. <ríe> ¿Ok? Y ahí les va a ir marcando. A veces, si usted está trabajando en la tarde, eh, a veces le parece cargado hasta el día siguiente o hasta dos días después, pero siempre le va a aparecer. Así es que, por favor, vayan marcando su progreso aquí. ¿Verdad? Y repito, si hay alguna, si hay alguna duda, yo estoy siempre en el grupo de WhatsApp a sus órdenes. A ver, ¿hay alguna Teacher. pregunta antes de comenzar la clase? No, yo solo decirle que a mí me parece de inmediato. Ah, de, de verdad. Qué bien, entonces, no, no, no tiene que ir marcando nada, ¿verdad? No. Sí, no, no, pero... cuando veo el video y contesto las cuestiones, ya me aparece ya. marcado la unidad. Pero siempre le da submit, ¿verdad? Sí, siempre le doy enviar. Ajá, sub, ajá pero es que cuando hace ejercicio, no. por ejemplo, ahorita vamos a hacer este ejercicio, va. 1.4, 1.4, let me see. Vamos a hacer este ejercicio ahorita. Entonces, cuando terminamos, 
Siempre al final hay que darle submit, porque a veces hacemos el ejercicio y lo dejamos, ¿verdad? Aquí al final siempre aparece el submit, ¿verdad? Y aquí le damos check y ya. Y ya nos aparece marcada la, la actividad, ¿verdad? Ok, entonces estamos muy bien con este grupo. Eh, con mi grupo anterior sí tuve muchos problemas porque <ríe> eh, a muchos no les aparecía marcada las actividades, ¿verdad? Y por eso, por eso me tardé. <ríe> ok, listen. Now let's start with the class, right? 1.4, knowledge check. Ok, in this exercise, we are going to listen a, a man that works for a radio, for a radio station, right? And we have four people here. We have uh, Jane, Robert, Kevin, and Michelle, right? And we have questions about each one, right? Michelle is going to the gym, celebrate a birthday, meet a friend, or go shopping. Kevin is going to play videos listen to music, go dancing, or go for a walk. Robert, read, work at home, make a blueprint, or work. And finally, Jane is going to go dancing, see a movie, go to a party, and listen to music. Okay, so we're going to listen first one. Vamos a escucharlo por primera vez solo completito y después vamos uno por uno, ¿ok? Listen, please. Ok. Um, sorry. No me parece el audio. Give me a second. En la parte de abajo. Sí, permito. Lo vamos a hacer chiquito. Es que me tengo muy grande mi, mi pantalla. Vamos a ver. Uh, no, no me lo da, qué raro, permítame. Hay que descargarlo entonces. Vamos a ver si lo descargamos. Listen, vamos a descargarlo, sorry. Y abramoslo acá. Ups, no puede ser que no lo pueda abrir. No, no lo puedo abrir, no sé qué pasa. ¿Qué? Como que le voy a quedar mal con este ejercicio. Vamos a ver aquí. Ahí está. Ahí es, teacher. Good evening. Ah, yes. Eh, sí. Ah, ahí es. Es que uh, aquí me da descargar, pero no me lo descarga directamente. Entonces, directo de la página. Ok, sorry. Excuse me, class. Excuse me. Now, let's go. Listen, please. I'm Al Rivers with KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're gonna go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm gonna meet a friend. We're gonna run together in the park. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm gonna go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're gonna play video games. Yeah, I am. Can I ask your name? Yes. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. And now again, right? I have a question for you. Did all of you finish? Todos terminamos este 1.4 ya? Así lo yes. hacemos juntos. Solo que... Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. So we're going to make it together. Teacher. Lo vamos a hacer juntos, ¿verdad? Para asegurarnos. Okay. Let's start with Michelle first, right? Good evening. I'm Al Rivers with Michelle. KXQ News Radio. I'm talking with people waiting for the bus tonight. 
I'm finding out how they're going to spend their evening. What's your name? It's Michelle. I bet you're going to go to the gym tonight. No, not tonight. I'm going to meet a friend. We're going to run together in the park. Okay, that is Michelle, right? Lillian, what is your answer, Lillian? Meet a friend. Meet a friend. Good. Thank you. Next one, right, Kevin. And what's your name? Kevin. Are you going home now, Kevin? No, not right now. First, I'm going to go to the video game arcade. Oh, so you're going to play video games. Yeah, I am. Okay. Can I ask oh, you... Eliseo, please. Eliseo. Mm. Kevin is going to what? Play video games, listen to music, go dancing, or go for a walk? Play video games, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Now, Robert. This is for Sarah. Please, Sarah, pay attention. Your name? Yes. My name's Robert. Are you going to do anything interesting tonight? Well, my friend Chris is going to have a party, but I'm going to work at home. I have all my work right here in my briefcase. So you can't go to the party. You're going to work tonight. That's right. That's right, he says, right? And okay, Sarah? Robert is going to read, work at home, make a blueprint, or work? Work at home. Work. Work at home. Okay, thank yeah. you. And the last one, right, Jane. Uh, this one, please, Henry. Henry Linares, please. You're going to answer, Henry. And what's your name? I'm Jane. Do you have any plans for this evening? I just bought some new CDs, so I'm going to listen to music tonight. What kind of music is it? Jazz. I always listen to jazz. Okay, Henry, what is your answer, Henry? Listen to music. Listen to music. Okay, good. Now, let's submit. Cling, 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 cling. Okay, very good. That's it, right? So that's the way we're going to work, right? Esta vez vamos a hacer la excepción. Lo hicimos todo junto, ¿verdad? Pero para que vean cómo hacer los ejercicios, right? Now, any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta? No. No questions. Okay. So now we're going to go to 1.8, right? Este video se los quedé viendo ayer. Vocabulary. Holidays in the United States. Holidays in the United States, right? So holiday is a day of celebration, right? So now we're going to watch the video, right? And let's focus in the, co in the vocabulary. Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn vocabulary related to holidays in the U.S. Let's get started by learning the holidays that you see on this chart. Holidays in the U.S. New Year's Day, January 1st. Valentine's Day, February 14th. Independence Day, July 4th. Halloween, October 31st. Thanksgiving, fourth Thursday in November. Christmas, December 25th. Now, I would like for you to use the vocabulary to talk about your plans for this coming holidays. For example, Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. I'm going to invite my wife to a special restaurant. Write similar sentences as this one. The goal is to use the vocabulary and going to. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, now we're going to give example, right, together. Then we're going to read the commentary, right? Look at the example, right? Valentine's Day is going to be, is going to be on February 14, right? Now, New Year's Day, right? Let me see who's going to help me with this. Um, eh, Jose Rolando. Hello, Jose Rolando. 
How are you? Hello, teacher. Okay, I listen. Am fine. Okay, good. Listen, uh, uh, Jose Rolando, I need you tell me the same sentence, but using New Year's Day, right? I will help you. Si no sabe cómo hacerlo, okay. yo le voy ayudando. Okay, come on. New Year's Day. New Year's Day is going to be on uh, January 1st. Excellent. Ahora, dígame qué va a ser el, el año nuevo. <ríe> Celebrar que ya terminó el 2020. ¿va? <ríe> ok, pero ¿qué, qué planea hacer, eh, José Rolando? I am going to drink beers all night. Oh, my goodness. <ríe> ok, you are very honest. <ríe> ok, good. Congratulations, José Rolando. Now, let me see. Uh, Jolly, Jolly, please. Hello, now, teacher. Independence Day, right? Independence Day. Okay. Independence Day is going to be on July uh, 4th. Yes. It's in United States, you know, right? Yeah. But in El Salvador, um, it's September? It's September 15th. Excellent. So activities. Falta mucho para el día de la independencia. Yeah. <laughs> but but imagine, I'm, imagine. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to look. Um. I don't know how do you say in English the spills or I don't know. Uh, parades. Parade. What? Parade. Parade. Uh -huh. P A R A D E S parades. Parade. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm good. going to look parade. Excellent. I, I don't know. <laughs> but this year, because of the coronavirus, no, no parades. <laughs> uh -huh. no parade. Only yeah. quarantine in the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you, Yoli. Thank you very much. Okay. Now for Halloween. Halloween. Ricardo, help me, Ricardo. Halloween. Halloween. Uh, Halloween day is going to be October uh, 30, 35th. Okay, good, excellent. 31st, right? Uh, I am going to. I am go going to meet my friends. Okay, very good, right? But you're you're going to eat with your friends. I am going to eat in this. Okay. No My beer, friend. Richard. No. No beers. You mean? No beers. No pilsener. <laughs> Only no. eat. Okay, good. Excellent. Very good, Ricardo. <laughs> That's it, right? Yeah. October 1st. This is not the mother in law days. Yes. Esta fecha que no se celebra el Día de las Suegras. No, right? Sorry, confusion. I'm confused. Jose Guadrón, <laughs> please help me. Thanksgiving. Yes, Jose teacher. Guadron. Help me. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving Day is going to be on 4th Thursday. 4th Thursday. In November. In November, right? El November, yeah. jueves, listen, el cuarto jueves de noviembre, right? Noviembre, ah, yeah. Continue. I am going I'm to I'm going to um it's it's dinner uh oh pavo pavo let me say pavo turkey 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 buka, 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 buka. yeah turkey right yeah excellent delicious okay the last one the last one Christmas right uh, Carla Ortiz please help me Carla Ortiz Ortiz sorry okay Christmas day is going to be on December 25th. 25th, right? 25th. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. I am going to cook, cook my for my family. Excellent. Very good. What what do you cook? Um, uh, Turkey, chicken, hen, gallina. 
tamalito. Dice, dice pan. Eh, okay. Sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. Eh, beef, beef. Mm -hmm. Or chicken. Okay. Chicken. Yes. De delicious. Okay, thank you. Congratulations, right? Okay, now, let's continue. Do you, let's read the commentary, right? Vamos a leer los comentarios. Emperatriz Aguilar en Rolando Bautista. Oh, come on. Let me see. No. Vamos a ver el listado de principiante módulo 3. Let me see. No, no tengo ninguna emperatriz. Ni Rolando Bautista. No, right? Okay, look at the teacher, look at the teacher when, when no commenter, cuando no leo su comentario. Teacher. Look at the teacher. Sad. <laughs> okay, any commentary? Yeah. Tell me. Teacher. Dígame, dígame. I am Rolando Bautista. Ah, Rolando, tell me. I am Rolando Bautista. Teacher, no sé, yo soy el, el que comentó. Es el que está Ah, Rolando. Oh. Excuse me, Rolando. Ok, solo usted se ganó la, la, la corona del buen estudiante. <ríe> yes, Rolando. Siempre se me olvida, Rolando. Usted me, me va a dar un castigo, ¿verdad? Por, hoy porque entré tarde y porque otra vez olvidé su nombre, Rolando. <ríe> I'm sorry, eh. I'm sorry. Ok, we're going to read the commentary, right? Yes, you're right. And says, Christmas Day is going to be on December 25th. Good. I am going to eat with my family and listen to music all night. Very good. That's nice. Congratulations, right? Después de este año tan crítico que hemos estado, pues sí, nos merecemos, ¿verdad, Rolando? Okay. New Year's Day is going to be in January 1st. I'm going to drink... Pilsen and beer in my house, okay. But uh, uh, Rolando, only three, right? No more. Three. No more, please. <laughs> okay, thank you, Rolando. Thank you. Good. Now I, I wait for your commentaries later, right? Espero que comenten después sobre esto, okay? Now yeah. let's go to the next point. Habemos varios teachers que hemos comentado. No sé por qué no le aparece. No se me, no se, no se me ha cargado. ¿Verdad Check que ayer, ayer estuvimos viendo eh, que no cargaban los comentarios? En el WhatsApp le pasé una captura de los... De los sí, sí, la vi, los... ajá. Pero... Ahora, ahorita. No sé, ahorita está. Vaya. Ahorita le pasé una... Vaya, vamos en a ver el si, WhatsApp si una captura. a leer algunos de sus comentarios entonces, déjeme ver. Sorry, vamos a valernos del WhatsApp. Entonces, no sé por qué no me carga a mí. Uh, yes. Ahí está, Sara. Aquí están. Ah, aquí están. Thank you. Yes. Eh, José Guadarón, yes. Mother's Day is in El, El Salvador, right? It's going to be yeah. on May, right? José Guadarón, only uh, capital letter, right? Solo que no se le olvide okay. las la mayúsculas, José Guadarón. But your okay. sentence is good. Thank you. Congratulations. Eh? Yeah. Okay, Sara, Christmas Day is going to be December 25th, right? Very good. Reina, vamos a ver si no, no me equivoco, si no me regaña Reina. Reina, está, sí, Reina Peraza está con nosotros, sí es. Peraza Ramírez. O Ramírez Peraza, okay. Valentine's Day is going to be on February 14th. Romantic Day, right? Y aquí hay alguien que no me puso el nombre, pero dice Father's Day in El Salvador is June 17th. Mother's Day in El Salvador is going to be on May. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your commentary. And I'm sorry, right? Mi plataforma es la que está mal, así que me, me disculpo con... <coughs> I'm sorry. Sara, Reina, José Guadrón, etcétera, etcétera, and all the commentary, right? Thank you very much. I appreciate your commentaries. Thank you. Okay, now let's go to 1.10. And let's watch the video, please. Let's watch the video.
Mm -hmm. uh, okay, no, this is the one, right? 1.10, yes, 1.10. Okay, now please pay attention. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay, now let's practice the conversation together, right? Repeat after me, please. So... Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah. I'm going to take my girlfriend... I'm, mm, mm, M, M, I'm, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. But I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Good. Any question about this conversation? Any question about vocabulary? Yes, it's yeah, uh, Laguna. Laguna is a name, right? It's a name. Es el nombre ah, de un okay. restaurante. Like you said, Campero, eh, La Pema. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, song, yes, yes. song like fun. Sounds, uh, sounds that like one. fun. Sounds, uh -huh. Suena divertido, suena. Uh, okay. So, so, yeah. Suena yeah. chivo, right? <laughs> suena chivo. Sounds like fun, right? Okay. Any other question? Good. Now let's practice. No no more question. Okay, thank you. Now, let's practice one more time and repeat, please. Have a good Valentine's Day. Repeat. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Repeat, please. Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. 
Notice that she said she's gonna like, right? It's reduction, reduction. She's gonna like. Hmm? Okay, come mm -hmm. on. Repeat, repeat. How about you? What are you gonna do? Well, I'm not gonna go to a restaurant. But I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Okay. Now we're going to ask some students to, to practice the conversation. Uh, let me see. Edwin Rivas, please. Edwin Ruiz, sorry. Edwin Ruiz. Hello, Edwin. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Eh, Edwin, sorry. Eh, ¿Verdad que no había estado en las clases anteriores, Edwin? No, no había podido. No. Ok, welcome. So, bienvenido entonces. Eh, en Vanessa Ayala. Hello, Vanessa. Hello. Hello, welcome. Welcome, Vanessa. Ok, listen. Thank you. I, I need you and Edwin practice the conversation, right? Eh, Vanessa, you're going to be Mona. And Edwin is going to be Tyler, right? Ready? Okay. One, yes. two, three. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good balancing day. Thank you, too. Okay, thank you, Edwin and Vanessa. Good pronunciation, thank you. Okay. Laguna se pronuncia así. Sorry? Laguna. Lagunas, uh -huh. it's like Laguna. Uh -huh. okay. it, I don't know why uh, some names are Spanish, for example, right? Like you say, for example, in El Salvador, Saras, uh, you know? Or um, what is the name of this rest? McDonald's, right? So it's just a name, solo es un nombre, right? It could be okay. Lopez or Hernandez or, or, or Loma, or I don't know. It's a common name, right? Good. Now, uh, let me see who's going to help me. Uh, Karen Rivas. Karen, you're going to be Mona, right? And Nelly, Nelly Sanabria. Hello, Nelly. You're going Hello, to be teacher. Tyler, right? You're going to okay. be Tyler, Nelly. Ready? Okay. One, yes. two, three. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you, where are you going to go? Lagunas. It's her, it's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to take that. How about you? What are you going to do? Uh, well, I'm not going to go to that to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a to go to a dance. Sound my like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Thank you. Listen, uh, I feel the a good feeling like you you were speaking in a natural context, right? Thank you. Congratulations. Right? Okay. Now, I guess that's it. Now we're going to practice the grammar. Let's continue watching the video, right? Let's continue watching the video. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Lagunas. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. 
We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what? Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end there. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with be going to. I would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country. Okay, now we're going to see the commentaries, right? Uh, I imagine there are more, right? Me imagino que hay más comentarios, pero no sé por qué a mí no me los carga. Ya vamos a averiguar con el área técnica qué pasa aquí con mi, con mi página, que no me carga sus comentarios, right? Eh, José, hágame un favor. ¿Cree que me manda otra foto al grupo para poder leer los comentarios? ¿José? Hello, José. Let me see, teacher. Ok, please, I'm sorry to bother you. Perdón por molestarlo, pero... No problem, no problem. Ok, okay thank you. Vamos a leer lo que están ahorita aquí. Lilian says, What are you going to do on Mother's Day, right? Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Aquí solo nos pasó, no, Lilian, solo nos faltó la preposición on, right? Y el apóstrofe y la S, Mother's Day, right? I am going to go, I am going to go to a restaurant, right? Aquí sí es importante poner el, el verbo go, ¿sí? Luego, Emperatriz Aguilar, thank you for your commentary, Emperatriz. What are you going to do for Christmas Day? Ah, good question. I am going to go to visit. Aquí sí hay que eh, cambiar el verbo, Emperatriz, y go to visit my family. Todo esto aquí lo eliminamos y solo ponemos visit. I am going to visit my family, right? Uh, how are you going? Let me see. How are you going to get the celebration? We're going to, we're going to dinner, to have dinner, right? Aquí también le faltó el verbo, eh, Emperatriz, to have dinner. Going to dance, aquí sí lo puso, dance, right? Thank you. Good commentary and thank you for your cooperation, right? Now let me see. Vamos a ver si hay algunos otros comentarios que podamos leer en el grupo. Okay, thank you, Jose. Ya, ya lo recibí. Thank you. Vamos a ver. Eh, Jose Guadrón, thank you. What are you okay. going to do this weekend? Very good, Jose. Eh, ahí solo le faltó el símbolo de pregunta, Jose. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. And then I am yes. going to, y ahí dice la actividad, ¿verdad? What are you, Reina, Reina Ramírez. What are you going to wear on Halloween? Okay, good question. 
And por aquí no puso el nombre, pero también vamos a comentarlo. What are you going to do on your son's birthday? Uh -huh. Good question. What are you going to do for Christmas Day? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for your commentaries. Now I will explain. I will explain the use of be going to, right? Listen, I will make a summary, right? I will summarize. Pay attention, please. How to use be going to, right? Be going to. Can you see my screen? Pueden ver la pizarra? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, thank you. Now, be going to, right? This is like a model. Be going to. In English, we have auxiliaries. Listen. Auxiliaries. Like are, is, um, do, does, did, have, has, and has. These are auxiliaries, right? Auxiliaries. And we have some models. We have, for example, uh, should, could, would, can, must, will, and we have be going to, right? So be going to is a model, okay? They are the same family, they are cousins. So ellos son primos, ¿verdad? Los auxiliares y los, y los modas son primos. Solo que los auxiliares son más generales, right? Y los modales son más específicos. In this case, for example, eh, be going to is used to describe the future, right? The future. And then we have example with affirmative sentences. Listen, please. Affirmative sentences. In affirmative sentence, for example, I have eh, Nelly is going to visit her no. grandparents. Vamos a ver. Grandparents. Va a ir a visitar a los abuelos, ¿verdad? Grandparents. Vamos a hacer esto más grandecito. Ok. Nelly is going to visit her grandparents. Listen, we have going to, right? This is the mother, right? And next to the going to, we have the, the verb to be is, right? Is. Yes. Okay? And we have a verb. So again, the subject, el sujeto que puede ser un pronombre, una persona, un animal, un lugar, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right? Luego tenemos el verbo to be. Verb to be. Then we have going to, el modal, right? Y por último tenemos el verbo. Este verbo no lleva ni S, ni no lleva ED, no lleva ING, no lleva nada. El verbo pelón, right? Lo que sí. llamamos en inglés, the base form. The base form, ¿ok? Entonces no nos olvidemos esto a la hora de elaborar los, los, las oraciones con going to, right? Que necesitan el verbo to be y un verbo. Vamos a ver otro ejemplo. Uh, They are going to eat at Laguna, right? Ya que les llamó la atención ese, ese restaurante, ¿verdad? Lagunas. Es un restaurante ficticio, obviamente, ¿verdad? Que se llama Lagunas. Ok. They are going to eat at Laguna. Again, we have the subject. Tenemos un sujeto, they. Tenemos el verbo to be para they, okay. are. Tenemos el modal, going to, siempre sí. va a ser el mismo, going to, going to, sea afirmativo, negativo, pregunta, going to, siempre va a ser el mismo, ¿verdad? Y luego el verbo. Como ya dije anteriormente, el verbo siempre va a ser pelón, así sin nada más, solo el verbo. No le ponen nada más, ¿verdad? Pero debe haber un verbo, porque ahí estaba viendo algunas oraciones en que les hacía falta, ¿verdad? Ok, estas son las oraciones afirmativas. Afirmative sentences, right? Or statements. 
Now, negative ones. Let's go to the negative. We can say, for example, Jose Eliseo. Jose Eliseo. Is not going to. Okay, aquí podemos usar is not, o si quieren usar contracción también, perfecto. Isn't going to what? To eat chicken. Jose Eliseo isn't going to eat chicken. So we only have the word not, right? Lo, la misma estructura, subject, ok, verb to be, solo que al verbo to be le vamos a agregar el, el not, going to, vean que el not no se le pone al going to, no decimos José Eliseo going to not, no, el not va junto al verbo to be, I am not, isn't, aren't, right? Y después del going to va el verbo, it. Como dijimos, el verbo sin nada más. El puro verbo, right? The base form, the base form, right? Okay, now another example. Um, my friends are not or aren't going to play football, right? Okay, the same. My friends is the subject, the verb to be, are, right, for, for my friends, because it's plural, not, and then contraction, and then again, going to play, going to, right, and play. Vean que en todas las oraciones, igual, miren, going to y el verbo. Going to y el verbo. Going to, el verbo, going to, el verbo. No cambia, ¿verdad? Se mantiene ahí la forma. Now, in questions. We have yes, no question. Vamos a ver la primera categoría. Yes, no question. Y siempre usamos el verbo to be. Y eh, vamos a ver quién usamos acá. Y Ricardo. Vamos a usar Ricardo de ejemplo. Y Ricardo... Going to play uh, checkers. Damas, right? Damas, el juego de damas. Checkers. Is Ricardo going to play checkers? And the question mark. Now, it's the same, right? Usamos lo mismo. Miren, el sujeto, el verbo to be, going to, y el verbo, ¿verdad? Solo que cambiamos el verbo to be con el sujeto. Ok. Ricardo is for is Ricardo. We change the position, right? And we copy the question mark at the end. Y copiamos el símbolo de pregunta al final. Y tenemos dos respuestas. Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't, right? No se les olvide ponerle la coma después del yes y después del no, right? Ok. Are Esmeralda en, vamos a ver, en Karen, going to eat pizza tomorrow? Espero que sí, eh, que coman. <ríe> ok, and then, yes, coma, they are. O no, coma, they are not, o they aren't, right? Contraction. <clears throat> okay. Notice that in these questions, we have only two options, or yes, or no. Or yes, or no, right? Yes. Or no. Understand? So that's why we say yes, no question. Por eso yes. se le llama este tipo de preguntas. Yes, no, right? Y por último tenemos las WH question.
¿Por qué se llaman WH Questions? Porque todas las preguntas empiezan con WH. What, para cosas. Where, para tiempo. Eh, why, para razón. Right? Who, for people, etcétera, etcétera. Otro nombre que reciben estas preguntas es Information Questions. ¿Por qué? Porque obtenemos información específica. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos where, estoy preguntando sobre un lugar. Me van a dar información de un lugar. Where is Edwin going to, to play football, right? ¿Dónde va a jugar fútbol? Espero que, que juegue fútbol Edwin, ¿verdad? Where is Edwin going to play football? Y la respuesta, B no es yes, no, no. Si me preguntan sobre where, yo voy a responder un lugar. He is going to play, play in el cafetalón. Creo que ya lo abrieron, ¿verdad? Cafetalón. Ok, vean cómo respondo. No respondo yes ni no, respondo sobre la pregunta que me están haciendo. O si me preguntan, what are you going to do on Christmas, right? Christmas. Yes. What are you going to do on Christmas? I am going to drink Pilsener, right? No, I'm sorry. No, excuse me. Coca-Cola. Please. <laughs> okay, I'm going to drink Coca-Cola, right? Okay. So... Notice the difference between the, 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 the answer. La, la diferencia entre estas preguntas y estas es que esta es cerrada, right? Close. Yes or no. Hasta ahí, nada más. Ya no respondo más. O sí o no. Y en las otras no. Es abierta, ¿verdad? It's open. Eh, ¿Dónde vas a, a jugar fútbol? Ah, en la playa, en una cancha. Y hay un montón de opciones, right? Eh, ¿Qué vas a hacer? Eh, eat turkey... Uh, eat tamales alguna gente hasta pescado hace ¿verdad? eat fish <ríe> ok, la respuesta es eh, abierta, ok so that is the difference si nosotros manejamos en todos los temas el afirmativo, el negativo y las preguntas no vamos a tener problemas en el inglés ¿eh? porque todos los temas, el verbo to be, el presente simple, el presente perfecto, el pasado perfecto, el futuro, futuro perfecto, presente continuo, pasado continuo, todos los temas llevan un afirmativo, un negativo y preguntas. ¿Ok? Good. ¿Any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre esta estructura? Espero no se me hayan dormido, porque esta gramática a veces es un poquito pesadita, ¿right? Ok, teacher. Ok, good. Okay, good. Recuérdense que este video lo pueden ver mañana y pueden repasar todo esto, ok? Now, okay. we're going to teacher. go to the. Yes, question? Yes. Eh, ¿Dónde puedo ver el video? Ah, eh, el video yo lo voy a subir esta noche. Los compañeros de. de la verdad en el mes corporativo eh, lo empiezan a subir de las 8 de la mañana en adelante o sea que estaría listo todos los videos me imagino que entre 10 y 11 eh, pero el espacio eh, eh, me imagino que de la plataforma no permítame hay un hay un link teacher en el correo que nos enviaron ah, bye. para youtube Oigan, ahí está hay un, para youtube Okay, perdón, perdón, eh, es, 
No, no entendí porque escuché a varios escu hablando. En la descripción de WhatsApp también está para de un solo el link para irse al alojado. Ah, ok. Vaya, escuchó ahí. Entonces, hay dos formas de acceder: por medio del link sí. en WhatsApp o el link que le mandaron en el correo. ¿Verdad? En el Gmail. Ahí aparece el link. Y, y se va al video. Entonces. Pueden ver este video mañana, ¿verdad? Para repasar todo esto, si aún les queda duda. ¿Ok? Good. Now we're going to finish with the next explanation. No le check, right? Les voy a robar unos cuatro minutitos. Van a disculpar que este tema es muy... muy no problem. <laughs> ok. Good. Además, les debo porque voy a entrar cinco minutos tarde. <laughs> ok, listen. Who are you? Y aquí van a poner algo, va, veamos. Siempre van a poner, después del sujeto, vean, después del sujeto, van a poner, este es el, el 1.11, 1.11, ¿ok? Now, who are you going to? Siempre van a poner going to, no importa si sea afirmativo, negativo o pregunta, ¿verdad? Aquí es pregunta. Dicen, going to, y ponemos el verbo. Este que está aquí, lo vamos a copiar a la par del going to, ¿verdad? Pero como dijimos, el verbo pelón, así, de base form solamente. Entonces, invite. No me lo van a poner inviting o invited. No. So, el, solo el verbo invite, right? Who are you going to invite? Y ya está. Solo eso es. Aquí... I am, ya está el verbo to be, ya está el sujeto. Solo nos falta, ¿qué cosa? El going el, to. El going to. Y el verbo, ¿verdad? Y el verbo. Solamente. Pelón. Pelón. <risa> Thank you. <risa> ok. Eh, aquí también, what are you going to? El verbo do. Por ahí me estaba preguntando Marvin, parece. O no me acuerdo quién. Eh, ¿Quién de ustedes me estaba preguntando sobre por qué aparece el do? Pero eh, la confusión de este alumno era, ¿verdad? No sé si me está escuchando ahorita, pero que el do se usa en el presente simple como auxiliar, pero también es un verbo común y corriente que quiere decir hacer, hacer, ¿sí? Aparte de ser un auxiliar, quiere decir hacer. Entonces aquí me están preguntando qué vas a hacer para Halloween. Solo el going to y el do nada más, ¿verdad? Going to do. ¿Mm? En el negativo, como les dije, ponemos eh, el verbo to be, que en este caso es am, pero como ya está ahí, ya no lo pongamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, después del verbo to be, vamos a poner la, la palabra not. Luego going to, going to. Y luego el verbo. ¿Sí? No me vayan a poner el, yes. el not después del going to, así ve. Going to not do. No, no. O, o al final, ¿verdad? Do, do not. No, así no. Me lo van a poner después del verbo to be. Siempre. Lo van a poner en el día y también lo van a poner en la noche. <ríe> Siempre, el going to, ¿verdad? Y el verbo ahí, ¿ok? Good. En todos es lo mismo, ¿ver? En todos, right? Uh, en la última la última parte no le han puesto el verbo to be, miren her boyfriend aquí sí le vamos a poner el verbo to be her boyfriend is eh, going to y luego el verbo, ¿verdad? ok, any question? ¿hay alguna pregunta sobre, sobre este ejercicio que tienen que hacer? No, ok. No. no ok, let me see. Thank you. Se nos fue el tiempo, ¿verdad? Eh, siempre les quedo debiendo videos. Aquí tengo dos videos. Eh, Word Power, uno de vocabulario y otro de reading. Los vemos mañana porque esto es tan cortito, ¿verdad? Good. I don't know if you have any question. No, teacher. Una pregunta no. antes de terminar la sesión. No, teacher. No. No, teacher. No. No, teacher. 
Are you sure? sure. Yeah, sure. sure. Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good night. God bless you. Bye bye. Thank, thank you, teacher. teacher. Good, night. Bye. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. God bless you too. God bless you. Bye, God bless you. God bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Bye bye.